quite bothered, guys. Real bothered. Um, so, for most of my fellow fans of the Predator franchise, y'all may know that the next Predator uh, movie is revolving, I think it's a period piece movie, or it could be something else, but it's revolving around the centered around a Native American woman who, if I'm not mistaken, if I read correctly, she's Comanche. And she's dealing with the Yaucha, which is the alien race name of the Predator. And everywhere I've seen so far, people have been dogging that theme. Now, I have a friend, Mr. Chris Notarelli, who actually did a short film about this. Native American warrior woman battling two Yaucha females. They were female predators, which we've never seen on big screen yet. I hope we do see it someday. But I'm, I'm seeing all these people dogging it because of the fact that people are like, oh, how is a an American woman going to be able to deal with a, a, a predator with all the highly advanced tech and blah, 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 blah. Okay. You know, you let that little slide for a bit. But it, it, it bothers me because if you look at every movie, and I'm not including the crossovers, I'm talking about the movies, just Predator or Predators, things like that. Every protagonist, they didn't kill the Yaucha with conventional guns and things like that. Let's take, for example, the man himself, Arnold, Dutch. How did he defeat the Yaucha or the, the jungle uh, hunter? I think that's what you call him. I can't remember what he called How did he beat him? He beat him with conventional weapons, homemade arrows, little mini explosives, booby traps. And after he had broken the Yaucha's basic neck because he dropped that big the big uh, rock on his head. What happens next? The, 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 the Yaucha cheats, as always. The Predator can't accept defeat, so he tries to self-destruct. They're cheaters. I, I, I never understood that. And then we go to part two, which a lot of people seem to don't like. And it is underrated. But Danny Glover's character didn't beat the city hunter with conventional weapons. How did he beat him? With his own weapon. That sphere. The, the disc. That's how he beat it. And got respect for killing one. Because Greybeard, the Greyback, the, the older Yalcha gave him that musket. Okay? And let's go to Predators with the Super Yalchas and Yalcha. And what happened with uh, Royce, Adrian Brody's character? They didn't. Royce, Hanzo, um, Nikolai, I believe, yeah. Okay, Nikolai may have went kamikaze and blew one up, but in Predators, Hanzo defeated the the Falcor uh, with a traditional samurai sword. Royce used a combination of the mud and fire to up the heat vision, and he was going around sneaking attack. And then finally, how did he beat him? With a conventional bladed axe. Cut his head right off. So none of these... So you see where it comes from. That none of these antagonists have beaten them with weapons. 
like handguns and shotguns and things like that. So everybody who's been dogging the premise and dogging the 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 belief that a Comanche warrior woman couldn't handle herself and probably beat a Yautja. You need to go back and watch those movies again because the Comanche, you do your history, they were no, they were no joke. And there were many times they, have, they outclassed, outnumbered a lot of these Union soldiers. You go read the books and then you, you tell me how unrealistic that is. And then when you think about unrealistic, it's a movie. But when it when but when it all comes down to it, it just screams sexism. Sexism. That's what it screams. And I don't like it. I think it's stupid. And the people that hate it, you need to get your mind right. And and get get that those that unga bunga mentality out because if it turns out to be anything like what Chris did first because yes Chris did it first I will always give him love and respect for that he did it first and every time I, I read what these uh what the next predator movie was going to be I was like oh, this sounds like Chris's idea Just saying. But none of the people who fought one of the Predators ever beat them with conventional weapons like a gun or things like that. It was always done with... It was done with tactical experience, their own weapons... And more importantly, just will to survive. And as we all know, if you were able to kill one of them, you get respect from them. Just saying. So the next time you guys, when you, you, so the next time guys, when you hear more about this next Predator movie coming out and you starting to think like, I can't see a, a Comanche being able to beat one of them really think I, 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 I'm bothered by that and I'm, I'm actually offended by that too that's, that's really stupid just think about it